Running on empty, now at five, the government's cash for clunkers program is so popular, time may be running out for you to trade in your old car. Good evening, I'm Heather Herring. I'm Mark Mellinger. Just a few days into the program, and the government has already doled out more than $200 million in rebates. So just how long will it last, and what happens when the money runs out? We sent Drew Blair out to answer those questions, and she joins us live from a dealership with what she found out. Well, salespeople here at Fort Wayne Toyota say this is the busiest part of their day. We have seen quite a few people walk into the dealership so far, and chances are they're here to ask about cash for clunkers. We are overwhelmed with response. For the first time in more than a decade, Fort Wayne Toyota is low on vehicles. That's thanks to the Cash for Clunkers government program. If you think that you have a Cash for Clunker and you want to do this, get it done now. C for C is so popular, in fact, many dealerships believe the limited time deal will end well before its original deadline. You think you got until November 1st? I'd say probably not. Here's an indication of just how popular this program is. The entire back row of Toyota's lot is filled with cash for clunker trade-ins. But the program's popularity raises some concerns over what happens when this program runs out of money. I don't know. I don't think anybody knows right now what's going to happen. One cash for clunkers customer read the fine print. Brent Custer just traded his truck in this week for a new car. The rebate was... Uh was pretty attractive. While signing the paperwork, Custer noticed a clause and was surprised by what he saw. If the government runs out of money and is not able to pay the $4,500 rebate, that I have to pay that out of my pocket or they have the right to come and repossess my car. It's a gamble other customers might not be aware of. What's worse is there's no way for dealerships to know when the rebates will cash out. The best thing for us to do is just keep on plugging them in until they just tell us we can't do it no more. If you want to find out if your car qualifies as a clunker, log on to our website, wayne.com. Reporting live in Fort Wayne, Drew Blair, News Channel 15.